Hello and welcome back guys. Today we are going to look into host profiles. Um, so a quick way to reset host password can be from host profile. Now you have to remember if you forgot your uh, host profile, sorry, ESX password, there's no way to recover it. Uh, however, if it is connected to the vCenter, you are in luck. You can use host profile to reset uh, the password. So all you have to do is extract a host profile from one of your ESX host and then con um, clone it or whatever and then you can basically edit it so to edit it so I have created a host profile here as you can see I have just uh, du uh, duplicated this one and then named it password reset and then once we have done that you just go to edit host profile in there all you have to do is make sure you only have those settings which we need so I have untick everything here you can see that so when you start it will be ticked like this you untick these and then you basically go to security and services and then drill down right at the role and user level and in the user level you can set a password so I have set a root password and over here you have multiple combinations leave it by default user input config or fixed password config so I have set it to fixed password config and click on save so once that is done now we are going to learn how to apply this host profile to a particular host and uh, test it out okay so this is a host built by Sonia so I don't know what the password is for this one frankly speaking um, so let's assume a user or one of your colleague build this host and he's off sick and you need to access that host or you're doing a change and you want to be sure that you have access to the root password or oh, who knows in companies people come and uh, people join another company if they find another opportunity right so someone might have built this host um, and then they didn't save the password in your password manager and you are stuck with the host which ha doesn't have a, a root password so there can be number of use cases so the 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 official answer is you have to rebuild the host but uh, we using this method if the VC, uh, ESX host is connected to the vCenter you can recover the password so the, here's what we do if you already have a host profile attached in my instance which uh, I do if I click on summary this is how we check whether it is attached or not let's just move this at the bottom so we have a bigger screen to play with um, so you can see here host compliance and you can see this is the host profile which is currently attached to the host I'm going to detach this profile right click and go to host profile and then so um yeah if we do that then all the other configuration wouldn't that get wiped off no it won't like no okay it's a one-time thing you have done it you can remove it so some okay. people have just used it in in a scenario where you attach a host profile deploy it and remove it immediately okay so that can be done it's not a big deal um the reason i am asking you to do it is i think it's the best practice to make sure your host is um is compliant that's what it says here right host compliance so it's a good way to check whether uh, all the hosts in the cluster is having the right configuration on ntp right configuration on network right configuration on you know your security settings maybe you want it to be you know logged out if people try bad password for three time by default it's five so you want the, those changes to be done and you want them to be implemented always we don't want anyone going in maybe someone else in the team going in and modifying it immediately you'll find out next next time you run a compliance that it, it is not compliant and it is having some variation from that and then you can reapply it so so and there's no harm in applying a host profile remediating it and detaching it as well because all the configuration which you have done is going to remain it's not going to go away there is another method which I will uh, talk it's not going to be lab or anything it's called auto deploy that's where host profile are compulsory because you don't actually install the OS on how we are installing it on a persistent disk you just boot the OS and you don't even have a disk right you don't even have a disk there's no disk so it basically loads the OS in the RAM okay and then because you don't have a uh, uh, you know um, uh, disk how are you going to save the file or save the data so you use host profile to basically slap it with all the configuration which you want this is why you need to have up-to-date host profile all the time yeah and once that is done the ESX host runs fine so even for me I run ESX host on a USB stick once the host is booted I take out the stick I can just uh, you know take it out and boot another host with that 
you don't need the disk running because ESX OS is just 300 MB. It just boots in the RAM. Yeah. However, the use case which I am telling here is a little bit different. It's for something called auto deploy. So if you have like uh, 300 ESX host to build, you would actually want to do it on auto deploy, not building 300 hosts manually, right? So that is a use case. And this is one of the questions which you might be asking the exams as well. How, what is the approach you want to take if you have 80 hosts to build or 80 hosts to rebuild or 90 hosts to build or 100 hosts to build? Do you know what I mean? Okay. So going back to our topic, let's quickly right click here and go to host profile and then detach the host profile which you have, which is going to make this go away. Again, so do we not want to attach it to all the hosts now? Can we attach it to the, detach it from the cluster and attach it again? We can, we can do it. But if, if you don't need to, you are working on one particular host, you don't uh, you would want to only do it on one particular host right so it's a use case we could assign it on here or we could basically um, detach the host profile and I'm trying to detach it maybe you're right I might need to detach it from the cluster level as well it's not allowing me to do that or have the screen just stopped responding now let's refresh and see It's definitely not detaching from there. So it's applied on the root level on the cluster level, right? So right click yeah. on there and then detach it from there maybe. Host profile and detach. Or basically there's another option for change as you were asking, right? So we can select change and then decide to select. So you have so many, you can just search for which one you need. Password reset. Okay, so that's applied. And then if we go down to the host and select it. So now you will see a new profile attached to there. Whoops. And then you can check compliance. It doesn't have much. It just has password, you know. Um, and it's saying it's not the same password which I have it on mine. Right? So I would just go in and remediate this. Again, I would do first pre-check remediation and then keep an eye on here and see whether it is failing on any of the batches. That looks like it went through, okay. Compliance, yeah, and pre-check. So we just need to remediate it now. And this time we'll hit remediate button. And there you go. That's done. And it might give you a tick. Can you see that here? It's running the remediation now. So running the batches. Compliant. So the password is compliant now, which I set up. So how do I check it? What's your host name? ESX21, isn't it? 21. Multiple ways to check it, right? So this is obviously you're connecting to the host directly or I could potentially SSH. So that's the one which I set up. Let's see whether it works. And it does. So that's how you set it up guys and girls. So um, yeah, pretty much. It's quite straightforward, isn't it? Um, so once you have done and you have tested it, you have recovered the root password. You can go back and detach the host profile, right? 
on the cluster level what what am i clicking here hang on let me go back here or change it again like how we did previously and then so which one was it is it this one sonia the one we so you wanna, the so, one that that was attached previously yeah 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 is it this one or the uh, the uh, top one it doesn't matter so one of these right yeah from the description the description is here add ntp iscsi four network adapters is this the yours correct one was version 2 the last updated that i used was v2 v2 yeah okay this is this is why i wanted to check which one was it okay so there you go so that's applied again and then obviously if you go back in to the esx host and then you can see whether it's compliant or not And that's how you would recover a password, host password, on a um, ESX host. So the official answer for how how to recover your password is basically rebuilding the ESX host. However, you are in luck if you have got it connected to your uh, vCenter server. This is how you would do it. Thank you very much for watching. Comment down below and let me know if you like today's topic. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and uh, hit the notification bell to get all new updates from me. My blog is agileops.co.uk. Be sure to subscribe to my blog because all the videos which I am covering on my YouTube channel, I'll be posting blog posts around it so you can follow with step by step instructions with screenshots. I would love to hear from you. So you can follow me on Twitter and send me a message on Twitter or you can send me a direct message at Ibrahim Qureshi as you can see here. Enjoy watching and keep sharing. Cheers. Bye.